today at level up i gotta compare stadia in xbox One. hey you want to see more videos just like this one just follow mario over there have some lag you know xbox cloud or stadia which one is the best or what are the differences and how we compare them well today i'm going to show you not only the library of games but also the gameplay itself between those two and you can select which one make more sense to you and the reason why and all of that will be done in a smartphone or in other words in the same device the rog phone 3 which is my daily driver i hope you enjoy that let me explain to you how it's gonna be so all the images are captured from the device straight from the device with this hdmi cable so that they can capture the image for you sometimes you're gonna have a screen like this where you can see right over here the game screen straight so you can see the quality and right over there you can see my hand and the device itself so we can compare uh, the input lag or you can compare the graphic quality on the screen device so that's the idea why i set up cameras like this but sometimes i can extend the video capturing from the device so you can see fully the image and you can compare both games okay so what i'm going to show you here is pretty much like the speed why because i want to show the speed i'm running the games the, the services so we're going to compare the xbox and the stadia but i'm living here nearby orlando Florida and we use Spectrum so Spectrum is my internet provider and I'm connected to the Spectrum server but I will put the Spectrum Orlando which is the closest one and let's run the test just to check the speed check the ping and understand so I'm gonna run this one a couple of times so let's speed up this so as you guys can see in the first run I had 12 milliseconds ping which means the latency is really low. To play streaming games, you need 20 milliseconds or less for a good experience. So sub 20, like we say. And the speed, 171 megabits per second or download. The Stadia service says you need 20 megabits for 1080p with 60 frames per second, at least 20 megabits per second uh, for 1080p 60 frames per second and surround sound 5.1 um but xbox cloud say you need at least 10 megabits uh, but probably also on stadia you can run with 10 megabits or something like this for 70 20 so th that was the first test i'm gonna try with another server and i'm gonna try again and we can have a basis how is this okay so let's speed up the whole thing yeah and it's done and i had this time less latency 8 milliseconds and 211 megabits per second as download even more than the previous one so you can imagine my download range is around 150 to 200 we can set up like this and my latency is from 80 to 12 so we can have this in mind for all the tests we're going to show here okay so now you know the speed um, I will be very honest to you. I will use what they recommend. For the Stadia, I will use the Stadia controller. And for a better entertainment, comfort, and to be honest, the best fit, I will use the ROG clips that I just showed in another video. Clips that are going to put the card over here. You can check. These ROG clips are really, really good. Uh, you guys should try because they are the best for the device because simply they have those brackets and I don't have anything in here blocking the power button or blocking the cable for the video broadcast and I can capture here for you everything. Okay, so let's start with the Stadia. I just put the clips for Stadia, which is perfect fit. Should be as simple like that. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> and I will adjust this for you guys so we can have a better view of the screen so stadia will be the first one to test we're gonna test uh this very same games so you can understand the difference between one and another you can also see my hands here so you can see if there is any input lag or something like this that that's the idea 
that's my whole idea and you have the image here so you can check let's go for stadia let me turn on the controller as you can see we are inside stadia already and what i want to do oh it's connecting and it's connected i think it is connected <laughs> Okay, so one thing that I want to know if is the controller is connected. Right now, it say there is a controller linked already. Right, so no problem. Okay, so now we're going to navigate here. I want to show you uh, first the titles available, right? Um, so this is the home. In the home, I have games that I really have already or I claim already on Stadia. And every time you see the pro icon, like here, this red pro icon on the bottom left of each game. That means I claim on the pro mode. Remember, Stadia has the pro subscription. And the pro subscription is about $10 per month. And you can claim games every month that are for free. We only can access them if you're paying the subscription. If you stop paying the subscription, you can still have games you paid for. You, games that you bought because you can buy it and you can keep playing even without paying subscription but all the games you claim as free under the pro you only can access if you are paying the subscription i think that's clear right um and i have many here many games but there is one game that i want to show to you guys which is doom right but before i show the game let me show the whole library so if you go to store and you can see how many games they have on store right now. So those are the new releases they have. So you can check the new, new releases here. And there are some that is claimed because they are free already for me. And I can play right away if I want. And those are the new titles they have uh, right now. Um, and they have also stuff on sale. And if you have this pro icon, just like here on the Hitman, it was costing $59.99. And now, because you are a pro and you are in the subscription mode, you can pay only $29.99. This game is still yours, even with this huge discount. Still yours, even if you stop paying for the pro. Because one thing is games you buy, other things are games you claim for free. Those, This is the difference, okay? So you're still paying, have a huge discount, but kind of worthwhile, in my opinion. Uh, let's see all games. So he, here will be the list of all games. And you're gonna check very soon, as soon as I got there, uh, that on the, you have a small cut here, don't worry about that, okay? You're gonna see that many games, many titles are here, like Assassin's Creed, um, Attack of Titan, Baldur Gate 3, Borderlands, several different versions of Borderlands, Celeste, Krata, and many others. So you can basically see how many titles they have already. And I'm just scrolling down, scrolling down. And it's kind of too many, to be honest. It's a lot. <laughs> it's a lot. In total, I count something around 150 games available right now. That's a total library on the list of all games on Stadia. And I got the Stadia, the Founders Edition. That's why you see this orange here around the analog pad. Uh, and because of that, I also have my games. So I just bought one game on the Stadia, which is Doom Eternal. All the others I claim from the Pro subscription. Let's see how many I have for free so far since October 2019. So in total, I have 20 games and 19 are games that i get for free on the pro subscription ten dollars per month so since october last year so it's about a year in one year i got 19 games for free 19 it's a good deal right so in total i pay 120 dollars ish maybe a little more with taxes and i got 19 games it's a good deal it's a good deal though and there's some good titles over there that i can play anytime i want so this is Doom Eternal. I want you to pay attention to some stuff. Number one, the loading speed. That's number one. Let's see how fast it loads. Okay, until the loading, until here, until the Doom Eternal press A. That's the time of Stadia. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is do a very similar 
path. I'll try to do a very similar path in both games so we can compare, okay? So the first one, I'll do campaign and I'm gonna do a new campaign and check the speed, how fast it does. I hope you have a small clock over there. You can check how fast it was to load to 100%. Done. Okay, so let's go. Uh, before we go for the action, I will do a very simple test. I go in that direction. In this direction. That direction and this direction. See around, especially on the ground, if there is any deblocking, if there is anything that is... Um, not good in terms of quality. That's the image far away. That's another image far away. You see some deblocking? Some small deblocking, right? Okay, we got that. So let's go back. And now let's go for the action. Also pay attention. At any block, you can see my movements here. And you can see if there is any lag on this instance, or I don't feel any input lag right now. I feel quite okay. Okay, it's cool. It's good. Whoa. Now, let's check how many games you can count on Xbox Cloud. Okay, guys, so I have the Xbox controller here and we're going to do the internet test again because the previous one I did with Stadia before we start playing, okay? So let me show you uh, the current situation we have. Let's go. Let's speed up this part. Okay, so I have 137 and 12 milliseconds. Let's do it again, just like I did with the Stadia and we can speed up this part as well. Okay, so 11 milliseconds and 183. So that's the number. Have this in mind. It's pretty on pair or with what I had from Stadia. And those numbers should not influence that much since the services, again, one request 10 to 20 megabits download. This is way more, 20 times, almost 20 times more. Um, 10 times, 20 times more. So let's go for the game pass. Remember, let's see how long it takes to load okay we are inside uh one thing that i want you guys to pay attention is on the interface is different because having mind xbox game pass is the app so cloud service right now or cloud games right now it's an extra feature of something way bigger for xbox so cloud is something else it's not the main service just like in stadia but that should not be somehow any kind of reason to not have a very good service right because they are competing state is competing at a different level but they are competing and since xbox has made those available on the cloud it should be very competitive scenario very competitive uh, and they should comp compete by the lag the input lag and they should compete by the image quality. That should be the two things I'm looking right now on this comparison and you can check. The other thing is the titles amount. And for sure, if I go to console, I'm gonna have the hundreds and hundreds of titles. They are in the market for way longer. For sure, they're gonna have more titles and that's expected and that's the right thing. And I'm glad they have. If I go to PC, they also gonna have tons of other titles because that's their speciality, right? They have games for PC and console. Here I'm paying 15 bucks, $15 to have the Ultimate Pass. And because of that, I have cloud that I can play on the smartphones. With Stadia, I can play on Chromecast, on TVs, in any computer, and on smartphones. But with cloud, Xbox Cloud, I only can play the cloud right now at this moment. We are in November 2020. I only can play on smartphones. I don't know why. I think they should make this available to other ones. Uh, they should have a reason, maybe a technical reason, or just they are preparing for something better. I don't know exactly. That's my guess. Uh, but let's check how many titles they have and how many titles that I will compare are only the cloud titles. Because that's um, what I'm comparing here. I'm comparing cloud services, right? Stadia and Xbox Cloud. I'm not comparing Xbox Game Pass 
with Stadia. I'm comparing the service they are providing on streaming on cloud. Is that with that clear, please hold on your comments. <laughs> okay, so those are uh, those are the the apps, the games they have available. Uh, let's see how many. Let's check. Okay, in my accounts, they have around 180 to 190 titles here available right now, which is slightly more than we have on Stadia, around 150 as I count. So that's that's they are competing on the cloud, and that's the thing, right? We are comparing the cloud. So if we go back here and we go back to cloud, and we're gonna show now the comparison is the same game, remember. And the game I'm going to show you is Doom Eternal. So, have in mind, let's put the clock and let's check how long it takes to start a game. Okay, here we are. That's the time. And as you notice, there is a difference on time, right? It's good to have this in mind. Another thing I want to highlight to you guys is this icon here. You see? I don't know why on Xbox Cloud it keeps on showing that to me. I don't know the reason behind it. And if I touch over that, it shows that my network may be experiencing some problems. But come on, I just show you guys I'm not having network problems. Why they keep showing that to me? It's a way to find an excuse to have problems. Maybe, I don't know. State is not showing that and it's running perfectly. And we are talking about cloud gaming in both scenarios. Okay, so let me put exactly in the same place we are like on Stadia, right? Let's check the speed to load. And that's the time. You have the clock over there, you can compare your time. Okay, so here we are with the xbox cloud so uh, what i'm going to show to you guys same thing right going back going forward checking the image around there and there and we can check also that place that very spot very same spot okay going up back and forward back and forward back and forward if you see the blocking you see the blocking for me i see the block forming right on the walls right on the columns right a lot if i move here a lot of the blocking. It's crazy the blocking, actually. If I move here, also a lot of the blocking. You can see on the sky, it's kind of crazy. Let's get into the action, right? So you can see there's some lag uh, on my finger. If I pull it back, 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 fire. Fire. Let's go for the action. Oh yeah, there is too many to block and if you compare to it's like impossible to compare to Stadia because sometimes it's so bad to play that you can't see your targets to be honest. Because too much of the block too much blocking everywhere on the screen, too much to be the blocked. It's kind of crazy. Uh, the experience is like down. There is a little bit of lag input, but since it's very intense game, um you don't know exactly where you are missing because of the lag, but you know sometimes you want to go in one direction, it's too late. You you have this feeling, right? Something that I don't feel on Stadia right now. And have in mind, same connection, same everything. Yes. So that's what we got. Glory kill. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, yeah, glory kill. Here we go. Sometimes it even got like in slow motion, which is not cool. If I stand still in a place like this, there's not much, many the blocking. Actually, the images get better and better, sharper and sharper. But that's not how it's supposed to work, right? That that's the feeling I have um, about the lag. To the right, to the right, 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 right. Jump. You see the lag? That's what I'm talking about. And the blocking, 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 blocking everywhere. Everywhere. It's kind of crazy though. Too much blocking. The quality is really lower. It is what it is. 
Yeah, pretty much what I thought. Uh, actually, some surprised me, right? How state is advanced compared to the other players available, like the Xbox Cloud. Let's see how Luna will behave as soon as Luna is available from Amazon. Until there, I tell you guys, these are the options you have for cloud gaming and stay they taking the lead right now on November 2020. Yeah, it does. Did you level up? Your knowledge about Stadia and Xbox Cloud? I hope you did it! So keep tuning for more videos like this here on the Gamer Changer! See you soon, folks!